Hello, this is Chef John from FoodWishes.com with grilled patty pan squash with chorizo vinaigrette. That's right, thanks to a recent trip to Farmer's Market, I found myself in possession of some really gorgeous summer squash, which I was originally going to stuff with chorizo, but because of the variance in shapes and sizes, I decided to go with this instead. And not only did this come out very, very delicious, but it was extremely simple. In fact, there's actually more words in the title than there are ingredients in the recipe. And when it comes to simple summer dishes like this, that's usually a very good thing. So first up, let's go ahead and prep our patty pan squash. And for that, all we need to do is basically cut these in half, which is pretty easy for the shorter, fatter ones. So being very careful, because squash can be slippery, we will try to find the center, which is gonna be on one side or the other of that scalloped edge. And we'll simply cut it in two. And then if you want, and I do, we can do a little trimming to either end. And that's pretty much it. So like I said, very simple for the ones that are shaped like that. But where this does get a little tricky is if you have larger, flatter ones like this. Oh yeah, that's gonna be too dangerous to try to cut straight down. There's just not a safe place to grip it. Or I guess we could go this way, but that's not easy either. So here's what I suggest. I like to take a small sharp knife and just cut in about an inch deep right into that scalloped edge. And then I'll just rotate it, cutting it all the way around. And again, I'm only going about an inch deep. And once we've scored it around the circumference like that, all we have to do is flip it over and safely finish the cut through the middle. And that's it. And like I said, if you want, you can trim off the ends. It's more of an aesthetic thing. But anyway, using one or both of those techniques, we're gonna cut our squash in half, at which point we're gonna lay some paper towel down on a sheet pan and place down our patty pans cut side up and give them a nice generous sprinkling of salt. And not only is that salt gonna help season this incredibly bland vegetable, but it's also gonna draw out some water, which we call in the business squash tears, and that's actually gonna help concentrate some of the flavor. So like I said, we'll salt our squash and we'll let it sit out for about 15 minutes. And while that's happening, let's go over to the stove and start what we're calling a chorizo vinaigrette. So I'm gonna place a heavy skillet down on medium heat into which I've drizzled a little bit of olive oil. And then I'm gonna crumble in about six ounces of fresh chorizo. Okay, we're using the raw ground chorizo for this, not the cured Spanish sausage style. Very important. And all we're gonna do for about the next 10 minutes is cook this over medium heat until it's very well browned and broken down into as small pieces as we can get. And as you can see, I'm accomplishing that by breaking it up with this wooden spatula. And you really can't get this too small. So we really do want to get in there and break this up really, really fine. And don't be surprised if you get a little bit of caramelization, a little bit of a fond, as we call it, forming on the bottom of the pan. You want that. That's a good thing. But anyway, like I said, we're going to continue to cook that and crumble that until we have something that looks like this, at which point we can turn off our heat and dump in our oil and our vinegar. And by the way, if that sounds a little strange, I have three words for you. Hot bacon dressing. All right, so this is nothing new. Precedents have been set, and delicious ones at that. So we'll stir in our oil and vinegar, and believe it or not, that's pretty much it. That's the beauty of using chorizo, which is pretty much fully seasoned. We will, however, add one last ingredient, which is gonna be some freshly sliced mint, and that's gonna add a nice little freshness, a little bit of sweetness in the background, so we will stir in our mint and our chorizo vinaigrette is done. And then all we're gonna do is set that aside until our squash is grilled and ready to be drenched with its goodness. So we'll set that aside and head back over to our squash, which have been sitting down for 15 minutes now. And at this point, they're ready to grill. But what we'll wanna do first is take a paper towel and blot off any of that excess moisture from the surface. You know we try not to put wet things down on grills. So we'll blot off all the moisture that salt drew out, at which point we'll head out to the grill to cook these up. And I'm going to be grilling mine over mesquite, which, if you're interested, is my favorite kind of natural lump charcoal. And we'll place those down and grill them for, I don't know, three or four minutes per side or until just barely tender. And because I had them, I'm also going to grill up a couple Jimmy Nardello peppers, which I thought would make for a nice garnish. And because we have such a wide variety of sizes and shapes, you're just going to have to keep an eye on everything and pull them off as they finish. All right, we don't want them still raw and crunchy, nor do we want them soft and mushy. So let's shoot for perfection. And what we're looking for is signs that moisture is starting to kind of bubble up to the surface. All right, can you see that? That's a really good sign you're just about there. And if we take the tongs and kind of give it a squeeze, the vegetable is no longer stiff and hard, but there's a little bit of a give to it. And obviously, if you want to give these the old polka polka with a knife or a fork, you can check that way. And I should mention, we really do want to get a nice char on these. Believe it or not, the bitterness in those black grill marks is exactly the thing that brings out the sweetness in vegetables cooked this way. So we'll go ahead and we'll grill up our squash. And then once our squash are grilled to perfection, we will head back inside for final assembly. So let's go ahead and transfer those into some kind of attractive serving platter. 
And we will top that with our warm chorizo vinaigrette, which, by the way, if you've made ahead, you've reheated with maybe a little splash of water. So we'll go ahead and we'll spoon over that amazingly beautiful, amazingly flavorful chorizo vinaigrette. And of course, we want to make sure every one of those squash gets a nice dousing. And then once that was set, I went ahead and finished up with my grilled peppers, which I will admit are for decoration. Just between you and me, I think I'm going to use those for an omelet tomorrow. Although they would be absolutely delicious in this. And we'll finish off with a little more fresh mint. And for whatever reason, if you're not into mint, Italian parsley would also work very well here. You are the Chris Bosch of your summer squash. And speaking of the heat, this is one of those dishes that's great hot, warm, or room temperature. And actually, I've never had a cold, but it's probably good cold too. And I realize there's not a lot of competition, but that, my friends, was the most delicious summer squash dish maybe I've ever had. And because we totally cheated and used something as flavorful as chorizo, this really only required a couple other ingredients. So if you're one of these people that thinks there's no way you could turn boring, bland patty pans into something extraordinarily delicious, I think from this video you'll realize that myth has been squashed. So I really do hope you give these a try. Head over to foodwishes.com for all the ingredient amounts and more info as usual. And as always, enjoy 